Barb Mara right now, the RP968. This car, I've been, I've been here on my third year now, and I've been following this car, so many problems, but now they came out of nowhere. Bart, tell us what's going on. Yeah, you're right. Look, it was a tough year for the team last year, and uh, they've just, they ha actually, honestly, after the last event, they had to have a big downtime, just recover emotionally, financially, and then they decided to kick it all up this year. And to a credit to the guys, our, our build-up to the event has been really tough. We've had engines go, ECU problems, all sorts of things, and we just stuck together. The team kept tied, and, and we've managed, like you say, to really start showing what this car can actually do. So you came out of nowhere, you ran your personal best in the car, track is starting to cool down, how do you feel? You're gonna shake this up? Yeah, mate, yeah, look, this is happy hour now. We, we had a, a good run then, like you said, we got that into the 23s, that's the best this car's ever been, three seconds faster than last year, and then now, mate, she's all out. Is there more in this car? Yeah, there is. Bart Maurer, this is gonna be a crazy super lap here at the World's <laughs> Ham Attack Challenge. Pro class, watch out. And right on cue, here comes Piatek, thanks Toshi, we're into the top three cars, the last three runs, and Bart Chase. Moore is absolutely on full attack through turn one. Can he get it stopped because that was the fastest approach speed we've seen down there? This looks very clean from Piatek. This team have come here to win World Time Attack. They led all of the morning session yesterday with a 24-0. Barton dipped into the 23-8s earlier today, and this is looking quick already. 24-6 to the first sector, that is easily the quickest he's been through there all weekend. Not quite as quick as Tim Slade, but this is looking like a very good lap. The car seems to have behaved a lot better in the front end, not bouncing around as much as we saw in turn one. In fact, the smoothest we've seen it through turn one. Be interesting to see what happens by sector two, but as you said already, a green for the first sector, which means he is up. And let's see how he goes oh. now coming in through here. This is an amazing car. The quickest Porsche 968 in the world, no doubt about it. Turn nine, done very well. Tick the box there, Martin Moore. Very, very good. Sector two. Green as well. Whoa, Green as well. 59.7. That's only the second ever time a car has gone sub one minute to the second sector. The first time being Tim Slade today. This is a huge lap. He may even sneak into the 22s. Off the last corner comes Barton Moore. PR Tech are on track here to do not just a PB, but maybe even take second outright to the stripe. He comes. Oh, yeah. 23038. Oh. It's faster than under Suzuki. Oh. Oh. And he puts under back a spot. Wow. Big lap button more. Congratulations to the PR Tech crew. They're shaking <laughs> hands down there. That was a great effort. He bumps under Suzuki off second position.